M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. One of my favorite things about the Yesu FT710 is the external screen. I quite often get asked the question, 7300 or 710, and I always say external screen. I'm just gonna quickly show you my some of my scope settings. So in this case, uh, the radio is almost, it's, it's factory reset, and the only setting that I have changed, if you push the function button, like this, See the, the, the level there, tap it if you like. I set that to 20. And you've got, when you, when you first turn it on, you let it run for a good 10 seconds and then you start to see what look, looks like the bed of the, of the sea. And then the, the signal that you select, you select at the front. So ignore all the stuff that's scrolling back. Just turn your cursor and you can go fast and slow. You've got a fast and slow selection just here the button there, fast and slow, and you can tap the middle and it'll flash the middle thing and look, you'll go a lot faster. And of course, with your mouse plugged in, I'll show you where that plugs in. Look, I've got a wireless mouse, so it's completely wireless mouse here. You can select, now my favorite one is not center. Center is when the whole, the whole C bed moves. The cursor stays, you move the activity, you know, the cursor stays, the whole seabed moves. I don't really like that one. I prefer cursor. And of course, like I said, we can click on the, on the screen. I'll show you on the big screen. I mean, it just looks so good. And these monitors, you can pick them up. This one was five pound, but yeah, 10, 20 if you want the nice wide screen effect. But I like this one, it just fits nice in my shack. So look, I can click on the screen and it will change frequency. You can see the frequency changing. And whilst we're here, we could even change the mode. You got your multi, oscilloscope. And the span, change of span, I think a hundred's more reasonable. Click the activity. That's our level selector there. Now that's not letting me select that. You can select, saw that then, the type of meter you want. So I'm clicking the meter and I've got SWR. DNR, let's have a look now. No, it's not letting me click that, but I can click here. So this section here. Expand as well. That's the bottom one, expand scope speed it up stop it super fast it's all right you know it's not letting me click mode there but it is up here and you can turn on preset preset it is what it says really settings of the radio that you've if you hold your finger on that you'll get the preset menu come up look and so these set, and you've got five here. They've got one at the top, which is all set up with FTA out the box. And that helps. And I'm doing this all with my mouse. Just seeing what else will click. We've got some digits here of, of the frequency as well. The one thing they haven't done is added the, the, func the ability just to turn on the function menu. You know, the big round button, you can't just push, you know, you should have a circle here, click, and then the function will come up. But yeah, look how good that is. Now, I'll show you the mouse that I'm using that works. So it's uh, just off Amazon. Get some light on this. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. PM6, Infic PM6. 
and it does have a little a little dongle which is just here I know it's a bit dark but it's a little USB dongle there yeah, but it just it just works well you know nearly everything you need is on the screen you can turn off multi I prefer this screen a and B if you want it just here you can push the band button here mode button on top as well it does do split mode things like that volume there's your RF gain which is quite a very useful especially when you're using DNR hold down DNR LED here, this goes red when you TX as well. Quick memories. This is main function menu, you get all these radio sets, CW set, operational set, display set, extension settings, lots of settings here for you to explore. Vox. Shoot, of course, the tuner, which I think is brilliant. Just works. Every time I use it, it works. I have earthed my antenna or grounded it. It's a long wire. See the green wire? That's a ground. There's a big copper pipe in the ground. And that makes a lot of difference to people hearing you. you know, I've tried a few experiments with that. Microphone at the front. It looks like the CW key is at the back. I have tried it a long time ago. Lock button. And on off button. And I believe if you hold down one button, it will screenshot. Now, it could be the mode button. Let's try it. There's, I'm sure there's one button, you hold it down, I can't remember which one, and it does a screenshot for you. Sure of that. Um, DNR. There's a quick filter there, narrow. DSP reset. What else we got here? There you are, there's your DSP. I haven't used it for eight for a while, so I'm familiarizing myself. Go select the different one. Once you've selected it, push it, and then you can change it. There is a timeout on it. Get my hands out of the way. Shift width, notch, and contour. You can reset the settings with the little DSP reset button. There somewhere. Hidden away. So I had the 7300, which I really like. I think it's an excellent radio, but I prefer this one. I just enjoy using it more. Maybe it's because it's the newer model. But the external screen is to die for, if you ask me. And I get a question, FTDX10 or 710 my answer is if i had a dx10 i would keep it and not get a 710 but the 710 it's a nice light very maneuverable radio and you have the aess speaker system as well it's nice and compact so i like them both but if i already had the 10 i wouldn't replace it bye for now 73